We are gathered together here to celebrate Lindsay and Dylan as they enter into the covenant of marriage. Dear Linz, first off, I just want to start off by saying how much I love you with all my heart and how incredibly lucky I am for you to become my wife today. I'll start by saying, Linz, I knew you were the one the moment I saw your face when I walked in T Street. Babe, it is hard to believe that two kids who were very fond of each other found their way back together. We have been through so much individually, and our story is a testament to fate and God's perfect timing. I knew the moment I saw you, I'm not sure that I believed in love at first sight until that moment. And ever since then, you came into my life as if you had never been gone at all. I prayed for the type of man that you are, one that is hardworking, honest, wants to build a future together, and one that loves me and my child. I don't know if it was the look we both gave each other or me forgetting how beautiful you were. I think it was a combination of both. But either way, after those 10 years, I know you. I knew you were the one, and I can't thank God enough for bringing us back together. Since that day, I've been the happiest I've ever been, and I thank you so much for making me the happiest man alive. You are the definition of an answered prayer, and I'm so glad our paths aligned at a perfect time. Some of the things from when we were kids still resurface. You pull me out of my shell. You know when I need your advice, you comfort or when I just need you to cook me Mexican food. You also know how to call me out when needed, which at times I deserve. I've never felt so safe, so seen, and so loved. You've also given me the gift that is your family. What a blessing to do life with them. Now call them mine. You truly have my heart until the day I die. I love how honest and kind-hearted you are. I love how great of a mother you are to press, and I love how supportive you are of anything I do. I love how goofy you are. I love the smell of your hair. I love your teeth and your beautiful smile. The most important thing I love is that you are a Christian and put God first. Lindsay, I promise to always love you and press forever and ever until the day I die. I promise to take care of the both of you and support you through anything and everything. I promise to be there for the both of you anytime needed and I promise to be a better Christian man so we can set an example for press and our future kids. I just want to say how excited I am to finally marry the love of my life and I can't wait for this next chapter of life. Welcome to the family, love, Dill. <laughs> I promise to be there for you through the good and the bad days because there will be both. You will never feel or face anything alone. I promise to give you a son, God willing. I promise to always cook and watch our shows together, keep traveling and make new memories together and with our friends and to grow old with you and building a life of love and happiness. My love for you will only increase with each passing day. You are my best friend, the best man I've ever known and truly the love of my life. I would do anything for you. The best thing I can offer you is myself and marriage, as two are better than one, and together we'll be unstoppable. Love you to infinity. Sweet guy, see you soon, Linz. This afternoon, in the beauty of God's creation, we will witness God's greatest gift, the gift to another person to share their life with, to grow with, to change with, to be joyful with, and to stand with one another as one. Through all trials and tribulations as they enter in to their life together. It is fitting, therefore, that we should, upon this occasion, ask for God's blessing. Would you pray with me, bow your heads? Father God, we celebrate the gift of life that you have given to us and life between these two as they start their marriage together. We rejoice that you and all of your divine guidance have united Lindsay and Dylan as they have found one another. They will commit themselves to a life 
of loving faithfulness together. We praise you, Lord, for the ways that you have touched their life, and we thank you for their friends and family that are here today. So as we participate in this grand celebration of love and commitment, give to us your eternal joy and your responsiveness that we have the relationships together as these two do today. For it's in Christ's name we pray, amen. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not envious, it does not boast, it's not proud, it does not dishonor one another. It is never self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Who is giving this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. I, Dylan, take you, Lindsay, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow to you. I, Lindsay, take you, Dylan, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow to you. And now you will exchange rings to show that they're made in a circle and your love for one another will continue for all time. I give you this ring of the sign of the, my love and faithfulness give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. By the power invested in me by the First Christian Church of Royalton, Illinois and the state of Illinois, I pronounce that you are now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. They just stop. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, may I introduce to you the one and only Mr. and Mrs. Whoa. Dylan Arby. are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Ecclesiastes 4.9. We're going to introduce to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Arbor! I want to do a little something special for the occasion. Lindsay, could you put your hands out? Palms up. Dylan, put your hands on top of Lindsay's. Look into Lindsay's eyes and soak in this moment and realize this is the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> so on a real note, if everyone would raise their glasses to Lindsay and Dylan, here's to the Arbys. <laughs> Big 
Show Presley how a woman should be treated and loved. Show her that you can love and be loved. Thank you, Dylan, for taking on Lindsay and her plus one. Now get up there and go have me another granddaughter or grandson. <laughs> I would like to say that Donnie and I are both very, very blessed to have Lindsay in our lives. I wasn't going to cry though. No. I about a nice round there. Enjoy yourself and thank you for coming. And enjoy and have a great night. Thank you. Let's hear it for